The 2015 Hopkinton Hillers are getting ready for the season. The Hillers are coming off a 2014 season in which they made a playoff appearance and finished 5-6 and six overall. Despite losing some key offensive players to graduation, the Hillers this year feature an experienced offensive and defensive line. We've been doing some stations uh, in the beginning, some conditioning stations, and uh, then we just did some tackling stations. And we just did some o indy which is uh, doing some offensive line drills, you know, working on our stances, stuff like that. But other than that, it's good practice, still got a long way to go. Everyone's pretty stout, you know, we're working hard in the off season, uh, ready to show off our talents. Uh, I think uh, this year's linemen are uh, athletes the most. We have a lot of uh, dual sport athletes. Uh, we're really quick, we're really, really strong. So, I mean, I'm really feeling good about the season. It, it wouldn't be possible without my teammates and uh, my line mates. Um, you know, some of my best friends. So, with them, it's pretty easy, and um, we're just trying to be the best we can. The Hillers' returning offensive threats include quarterback Jake Kelleher and running back Sam Lehman. So we've had a good week of practice. We've got a lot of guys looking forward to the season coming up. All right, and uh, what do you think the biggest benefit is of this year's team? Uh, we have a lot of returning seniors. We've got a lot of guys. Everybody's just excited. We're all football players. Everybody's been working all off season. Just been waiting for the fall. All right, now how's the uh, running core looking? We're looking good. We got a lot. Of, we have a deep core. A lot of guys to hand the ball to, so it should be good. And a pretty deep line as well yeah. to uh, protect you guys in the backfield. Uh, the line uh, certainly seems to have some great experience coming back. Yeah, the line is definitely going to be a positive because they're very reliable. They're going to be knocking people down, push people back. It's going to make my job real easy. All right, and uh, what drills have you been uh, concentrating on so far in practice? Uh, just more cuts, ball security, you know, simple stuff for the first week before we get into more complex plays. Offensive coordinator Dan Sullivan is hoping to bring much versatility to the offense with the experienced line and running game. Uh, we're excited about the group we have for sure. Uh, a really good group of seniors, um, very strong offensive line. Guys have put in a lot of work in the offseason. Um, so we, we feel like we have a strong group to move forward with. Good first week of camp here. All right. Uh, now, could you talk about some of the drills you worked on in this uh, first week of camp? Yeah, um, on both sides of the ball, it's uh, just about installing our, our base offense, our base defense, uh, getting the kids in shape. Um, and uh, most of them, if uh, not close to all of them, uh, really worked hard to, to make sure they came in in good shape this season. Uh, so this week was easier on them than it has been on, on teams past because of uh, the work they put in. Now, how's the offense looking this year? I know a few big changes from last year. Yeah, uh, that's some, some key guys to uh, to replace, a lot of yards in the offense to replace, but um, with, with our line, uh, senior-laden line, uh, we feel like we can uh, run the ball well with the senior running back, Sam Lehman, who was in the mix last year, started on defense for us last year. Um, and then uh, Jake Kelleher coming back at, at uh, quarterback, um, who played the second half of last season for us, uh, should should uh, provide a good pass and attack with uh, a couple seniors out there, Nick Canal and uh, Jack Vicari, good weapons on the outside. So we feel like we're going to be pretty versatile on offense this year. All right, what are you going to be working on in the next couple of weeks? Uh, well, we have uh, three, three scrimmages coming up uh, with Hudson uh, on Saturday and then uh, Algonquin and uh, Haverhill next week. Uh, so we're going to have an opportunity to see what our kids can do against another team in pads, uh, see who's willing to, to block and tackle and um, figure out our personnel a little bit. Um, and we're going to continue to, to work towards that uh, first game on September 11th against uh, Whalen. All right, Coach. Well, best of luck this season. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate it. The Hopkinton Hillers kick off the season Friday, September 11th at Wayland High School. Three, one, two, three. Go, 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 go.